Yo, 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 what is going on? Brendan with Atlas Stationers coming at you live from Chicago. We're doing something different today. I was thinking about packing some orders live for you guys, but I decided to change up the content for today. And so we are going to be doing a shop tour of our store here in downtown Chicago. I don't think we've done a tour in a while, so I think what we'll do is we will uh, flip the camera, I'll walk you through the shop, and then if you have any questions, if you want to see anything, you just let me know. Uh, otherwise, you know, this was a great way for us to change up the content a little bit. Um, also, our shipping team did pack out, pack up and ship out a ton of orders. So, you know, I don't really want to get in their way since they're in the group already. So for those of you who are not familiar with the, the store, we have a, a location right here in downtown Chicago, right under the L. And it's pretty much as, as Chicago-y as you could get. Um, hard to miss our storefront. We've got a big sign right here. And these big iron columns. So we specialize in fine writing and stationery. So we sell pens, inks, notebooks, a whole bunch of cool stuff that you didn't know you needed. But yeah, here's a little 360 view. But yeah, let's go in and take a look. Again, if you have any questions at all, just holler at us. Let me know if you guys got the notifications. Did you guys get the live notifications? No notification, but I felt Brendan's vibe and checked. Oh, dang. Well, we'll have to see what's up then. I thought we fixed the problem. You did get the notification. Good, good. Well, yeah, as we walk in here, you know, we've been here since 1984. Um, you see a 3,500 square foot retail space, a whole bunch of displays of pens uh, we probably have over like 13 displays 14 15 let's count them real quick 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 16 towers and cases full of pens and then if you just kind of browse around you see we've got quite a few different aisles that we'll walk through here in a second full of writing instruments accessories pen storage so super cool stuff tanya says ready to quit my job and apply at atlas we'd love to have you how fun would that be daniel i'm doing well if that was directed at me how are you guys all doing Where's everyone tuning in from? Let's take a look at these Lamy Safaris. These are some of the best introductory fountain pens that you can start with. Uh, they start at about $30. The Lamy Safaris are ABS plastic, a lot of different color options. It's a great place to start. Kelsey's tuning in from Utah. Twisby is another great introductory brand. Uh, these ones are about $32. The Ecos, as you can see, we've got a nice color assortment of all the recent releases. Same with Narwhal. Start about $50. Goes up to a couple hundred. Looks like we've even got that Ikaku Makie. That one's like $800. Let's just walk around and take a look at some of the cases. Visconti out of Italy, which is super fun. A lot of great pieces on display and available. Here's kind of a, a mix case, kind of a, just some really beautiful pieces. There's really no theme to this case, just besides kind of, you know, we, we mixed it up with uh, some pretty cool brands. First, you got Edison pens. Then you got Heinz pens. Then we got some of the high-end Conklins, the Nozaks. Diplomat here and here. And then Retro 51. And then over here to my left, we've got the... ST DuPont Tower. Love me some DuPont. 
Who here likes DuPont? This is some sick stuff here, you guys. Look at those carbons. Super cool. And we're looking at some Pelicans now. And then we'll lean into Waldman. Up top, we've got Aurora. Sorry about the lights. We use track lights to kind of spruce up the, the lighting. I can't wait for the red and white Pelican M600. Yep, that one's going to be a beauty. I'll have to make a post about it soon. Here's the legendary Kaveco. Are you going to show the new pink Esterbrook? I don't know where the rumor came from, but I'll tell you right now, it's not pink. It's more, it's more of a different color. But to make you happy, I guess we'll say it's pink. There's our platinum tower. We got a lot of great items in the platinum case. There's the King Tut down below. Hello, welcome in. And then we've got one of my personal favorites, Peniter. It's more of like a lilac, yeah. I'll spoil it. More of a lilac. It's definitely more purple than pink. Pilot's got a whole case right now. We love us some Pilot. Looks good. Over here we've got some Leonardo, David Oscarsons up top. David Osterson's looking spicy. And then we've got Lamy, one of our best selling brands. Now I do Sailor. Tasha with the beautiful. Beautiful empresses. Montegrappa. Omas. Estabrook. Karen Dash. Yeah, let's just walk the aisles now. You need something, Brian? It's on the... It's on the... Um, the Hobonichi. Yeah, why? I did, why? Oh, it's on the brown table. Brown table. Yeah. Yes, Jasmine. Can you assist this gentleman? All right, you guys, sorry, I was talking to Brian. We got the big Pelican Hub coming up. We got all of our accessories here. Uh, the greeting cards. We got our Hobonichi display. You're going to your city's Pelican Hub? Nice. Yeah, we are the hosts here in Chicago for our third year. Brendan, I thought we were friends. I never received the Hagi and Momo picture comparison. I am so sorry about that. Can you send me a DM on IG? Clearly, I struggle to remember things on from the live video. Send me a message on IG, and I'll, I'll shoot you a photo. Let's take a look at our notebook aisle. We just restocked on all of our Japanese stationery. A lot of good stuff here. As we flip around, we also just restocked on all of our Loist term. 
love looking at the Leuchtturm display. Yeah, things have been a little more chill over here, you guys. After the sidewalk sale, we were playing catch up. After the Hobonichi release, we were playing catch up. You guys want to see my studio? I got a little studio in the back. Do you guys want to see it? I love how many colors of Rhodia you have. You have most. You just have yellow and black. Yeah, we got a lot of Rhodia. Here's a nice display of the wearing gold pouches, the Esterbrook cases. We got some more Rodia to put out. Here's our planner land. I'm just waiting for my direct deposit notification for your order. <laughs> nice. Here's my little studio. I'm going to try to squeeze back here. I'm going to step right behind you, my friend. Sorry about that. So this is where the magic happens. The content the videos. Right now we're photographing every single swatch on this nice background. So we've taken about 700 photos so far. We only have two brands left, Waringal and Monteverde. But yeah, our operations here are getting a little more serious. So pretty crazy. So right after the video, I'm going to finish taking photos of all of those beautiful inks right there. So the rainbow of Hobonichi again. Okay. Nice. That's a huge undertaking. Yes, it is. But the deal with inks is that we want to give you as close to an exact representation of the ink on our website. And we know the challenges of trying to scan the colors in, photograph them. So what we did is we just set up a nice little studio there. We chose that light grain wood background to kind of give a nice contrast so you can see the swatch and the color. And then we did not edit the photos at all. So I did not edit the colors. That way, you know, it's as close to the true color as what a camera could pick up. But this is the Hobonichi. Color balancing is rough. Yes, it is. It definitely is. But again, when you're just taking the raw photos and uploading that directly, there's really no, it's easier. There's really no difficult part of like trying to match the color exact because again, it's just the raw photo. On some of the pens, when I take photos of the pens, I do tweak the settings a little bit to edit them. You know, sometimes I'll try to eliminate some of the shadows that are casted or um, you know, adjust the contrast just to make the pen kind of um, pop a little bit more without changing the actual color of the pen. Because the last thing we want is for you guys to see a listing and then the color's way off or it looks different in the photos and then when you get it, it looks dull or it's not what you were thinking. Is that your handwriting on the swatches? No, it is not. It's multiple people. There's probably about three to four different people who have done the swatches. We got a test station right over here. Yeah, sometimes you have to adjust the value so it looks closer to real life. Exactly. I don't really do it with the inks, but I do with the pens. Our pen department is looking great very crispy Charles said crispy creams look at this right here that's our, our buddy Fred from 1035 kiss FM the Fred show he was in the store yesterday I got to catch up with him which was nice there's a never before seen photo of Brian and I playing chess as you can tell Brian looks like he was really going through it so I must have been whooping him in those photos I was probably like, I was probably like eight, maybe, maybe around eight, maybe a little younger. No, maybe a little older, maybe like nine, 10. But look, Ryan looks stressed out. I mean, that's crazy. I look like I'm about to checkmate him right there. I think that's the wrong direction towards the SD. You know, it's all boxed up in the back. I think it releases tonight or tomorrow though. Yeah, honestly, I just don't want to get in trouble at all. Sometimes if you show stuff a little too early, they they get mad at you. Not just Esterbrook, but all the brands. Because they feel that you're gaining an advantage over others by showing the pen. 
Lamy's looking sharp. Alex is the one keeping the pens all crispy. The pen department functioning. He's responsible for all the displays. So if you see a pen slightly out of place, that's him. It's his fault. But a lot of movement in the cases. You know, we're constantly adding product, rearranging the displays, taking product out to fill orders. It's a lot of work. It's a never ending grind. Yeah, you got to say even with their other retailers, exactly. If Brian's watching this and he wants to grab the pen, then sure, I'll show it. But if he's not, I'm not going to go to the back and get it. Sorry. As much as I'd love to. But sometimes we get the call saying, hey, you shouldn't have done that. Yada, yada, yada. What's one of the oldest ink pens you have in the store? Um, as in, like, what's been sitting in our inventory the longest? Are you going to have the journal in it with the new SD? I can't remember. I can't remember if they did it. Most likely. But we're cool with the Esterbrook rep. He'll be okay. <laughs> you guys are fiending right now, huh? New SD will not have the special nibs. Do you have any fountain pens from the 20s? No, we only carry modern product. No vintage. If Brian wants to go grab the SD and hand it to me, we'll show you, but it's his call. Up to him. Look how beautiful the shop looks. Let's try to get an overview. No problem, my friend. Thanks for the good question. Try eBay or like some secondhand seller or something. I mean, finding pens from the 20s is pretty hard. What a beautiful store. Thank you. Been here since 1984. Been in the biz since 1939. And yes, this beautiful rug was supplied from Oscar at Oscar Asperian Rugs. I'm going to show his business card. A beautiful centerpiece. There you go. If you guys are ever in need of a nice oriental rug, that's who you got to call right there. Call Sevak. And I guess Brian made the decision. Can you open it for me? Look at that, you guys. Brian's on the camera. This is how it feels when he's talking on the live videos and he points the camera at me and I have no idea what to do. He does not have a mic. There you go. There it is, you guys. This launches tonight, right? Or is it tomorrow? Tonight, it's either, today's Wednesday the 13th, yeah. So this will launch today at 11 p.m. Special, is it a special release? Yes, this is the only batch we're getting. So this is the only, we only are getting one batch, so if you want it, it's going to sell out, make your choice. Uh, Kelsey says, extra fine through stub. Kelsey says thank you, by the way. You're welcome, Kelsey. Brian said you're welcome. Yeah, I, I understand it looks a little pinkish, but... I, it's purple. I agree. It's purple. There you go. All right. Fun. Thank you. That's definitely a cool tone pink. And I promise you it's purple. What are your favorite inks and your favorite colors in the binder? I'll show you. I've been on a cool, like muted, like spree. And actually, since I just swatched every single color in the shop, I got a chance to look at them. This color is baller right there, the citrus black. It's a good one. I love this one. That one's one of the best things ever. Hello from Germany. Hello from Chicago. How you doing? Coco on the call. This one I'm really impressed with, Jewel in the Crown. That's an impressive color. So I'm really, really enjoying like the muted like tone, like the color changing inks, like these sailors right here. 
super, super fun. Look how beautiful that is. I used up the Alice Iron Ore in my Chicago pen. The Vampire Pigeon is going in it today. Nice. Man, that's what's up. That's what's up. Oh, look. We re-swatched this one on the, um, on the black paper because it's a green ink, but when we did it on the white paper, it just looked like you couldn't even see it. So now that's what it actually looks like. These are calligraphy ink, so do not put these in your fountain pens. Hello from San Antonio, Texas. Hello from Chicago. Thanks for tuning in today. Let's see, where's the one that I really like? Here's our exclusive inks, great lineup. Do you make your own ink? No, we don't actually produce them. We work with our vendors and manufacturers to um, bring them into the shop. On some of them we do design though, like the Color vs. Wolf Point, uh, the Iron Ore, the Vampire Pigeon, and then we work with the vendors, the ink makers to create the color. And Aurelium came out with some fun new colors. Really, really fun stuff. We got some Karen Dosh colors back in stock. Some cool person did an Atlas exclusive inks, this or that. I know Vampire Pigeon was on there. I love it when I find ink that looks like Michigan in the sun. Colorverse, I've been really impressed with Colorverse. Theatromentis, Diamine, Ink Vents. I'm trying to find the one. There's like a pink, but I can't remember from which brand. Celadon Cat is awesome. No. Dominant Industry is fantastic. Winter Pine I'm really impressed with. Obviously, y'all know I love Autumn Forest. Graf Inks, really nice. Cognac. We also just got the Deep Sea Green Swatch, which is a beautiful ink. We don't have it here. I got to photograph it. Poison Envy is coming back in stock soon in case you missed it. We're getting a restock of some of these. Obviously a classic. Love the pink from Laban. Yeah, we just got a lot of great inks. The Sailor Michigan ink is a great blue. Nice. That's good to hear, Brendan. I'm assuming you're talking about the Poison MV because we owe you a bottle. Flip camera. Turn off the mirror. He doesn't realize my hair curls this way, not the other way. All right, that's going to do it, though. Appreciate the love. I'm going to check out here, get back to work. Y'all know the deal. Stay smooth. Peace.